As your participants get more familiar with the mechanics of the tool, it's appropriate to go deeper into the model analysis and what's involved in its implementation. The comparison function is useful. You now have the option of comparing different models in more depth. Let's look at an example. Probably best to narrow your search. For example, general tourist service. Select to activate the comparison function. Then make your selection. Then comparison. This brings up a different page with a lot more comparative detail. Here, you can directly compare each model and the information provided on the first page. Clicking on the PDF brings up a lot more information on the model in question, including its business canvas, links to examples, videos, etc. Detailed description opens the page up in its own window. We're now moving closer towards actual business model implementation and participants are moving from passive engagement to active interaction with the tool where the purpose is to use the tool to assess their own potential implementation of a specific business model. Say for example, food assembly. On this page, you can match your own circumstances to each particular model. As your participants are going to be more engaged here, it can get a little more complicated to follow. So walking through some examples is very necessary. On the left, you'll see a list of external and internal requirements specific to the model. Each requirement is allocated a different weighting. In this example, Internet has a weighting of 5, so it's extremely important. Noise tolerance in this rural model, not such an important consideration. Clicking here gives a value level of each requirement in the PDF which opens up. The dark blue line indicates each level. In this example, internet connectivity is very important. Participants at this stage should move to match their own potential suitability to these levels. Let's imagine internet connectivity is particularly poor and every other category is average. Now you see the dark blue colour indicates how this business might match up to the optimum requirements. It's obviously a rough judgment and again you can hopefully see the potential to use this as a basis for debate and collaborative learning. The first deficiency column shows the deficit between the optimum and matched business. Here we have a deficit of minus two. The second deficiency column shows these ratings in weighted format. For example, here, an internet importance weighting of 5 leads to a weighted deficiency of minus 10. Proposed detailed actions are suggested under Actions. The last column is effort. Because the stage for this tool is European wide, 
Financial costs are impossible to quantify. The gears indicate a rough judgment on the comparative level of effort required to address the various deficits. Clicking on summary provides a summary of your business matchup and suggested advice. Clicking on financials allows you to attempt to calculate the cost of rectifying the deficiencies just highlighted. Interaction with the transformation tool on this level is obviously a much more intensive experience and demands much more effort on behalf of the learner. It's much easier for participants to get muddled and lost in the detail of the tool at this level. This challenge can be countered through the use of additional supports, particularly worksheets or pop quizzes. Where feasible, take time to step away from the tool and use supplementary material to your advantage. At all times, keep the bigger picture of practical rural enterprise development front and centre.